Hey everybody, welcome back to Stock Voyager, I'm Jer. Uh, today we're gonna look at some things I found for UCL, uh, UCloud Link. Um, I did a video on them, you can find it right there. Uh, UCloud Link going crazy, new price target, UCL. I have done some more research and found some more stuff about it I wanna share. Um, so let's take a look. All right, let me open this up. Okay, so I had found their financial results for the last quarter, and everything looks pretty good. It looks like it's checking out. They're making improvements. The revenue is increasing. The profit is increasing, blah, blah, blah. Okay, <clears throat> then I found uh, this, which is a... Let me scroll up here. Um, commitment number five to a Form F3. Registration statement. Uh, <clears throat> Basically, it's a offering for $150 million. Um, right here. Uh, there are being registered on... Uh, these are being registered. It says there, but these are being registered uh, under this registration statement, such an ended... Determinable amount of Class A ordinary shares, preferred shares, Warren subscription rights, and units as may be sold by the registrant from time to time, which collectively shall have an aggregated initial offering price not to exceed $150 million, or if any securities are issued for consideration determined in a foreign currency, such amount as shall result in the aggregated initial offering price uh, equivalent to a maximum of... When is this? U.S. $150 million. Oh, okay. The registration registrant hereby amends the registration statement on such date or dates as may be necessary to delay the effective date until the registration shall file a further amendment which specifically states that the registration statement shall therefore become effective in accordance with section 8a of the securities act of 1933 as amended blah blah, blah. okay <clears throat> this information this perspective is not complete and may be changed we may not sell these securities until the registration statement filed with the securities and exchange commission is effective the preliminary pr perspective is not an offer to sell these securities and we are not soliciting an offer to buy these securities in any state or jurisdiction where the offer or sell is permitted. Uh, subject to completion date, November 16th, uh, dated November 16th, 2021. So there's that, which means if they could do an offering for up to 150 million, it's not official yet, but it kind of shows that, that they're kind of, it looks like they're planning on it. But it's not official, so it, this hasn't happened yet. Um, but then we scroll down here. The other thing I want to show and talk about. Where are we at? Come on. Further down, further down, further down. Where are we? Why are we not finding this that I already... Oh, uh, it's because I highlighted something else. Um, okay. Okay. <clears throat> UCloud Group Link, or UCloud Link Group, is not an operating, it's not letting me highlight, uh, operating company, but a Cayman Islands holding company uh, with operations uh, primarily conducted by its subsidiaries and through contractual agreements with our variable interest entities, or VIEs. So basically, UCloud Link is not really, it's a, it's a holding company. It's not it's a shell company it's not the actual company like you're not investing in the company there was something else that i had seen where is this go back up there was something else i want to <clears throat> Okay, investors in our ADS are not purchasing equity interest in our operating entities in China. 
but instead of purchasing equity, interest, and holding company incorporated in the Cayman Islands. The chart below summarizes our corporate structure and identifies our principal subsidiaries, our VIEs, and their principal subsidiaries. <clears throat> so you're not actually buying, if you're buying the shares, you're not actually buying shares. If I'm understanding this correctly, you're not actually buying shares in the company, the operating company, you're buying shares in a holding company, which kind of poses as that company, but has no effect on that company. So it's very risky, in my opinion. Um, that on top of the fact that a uh, hundred and fifty million dollars. Okay, so if we go, let's look at them. Let's look. Their market cap currently is one hundred and eighty-seven million. So this would almost double. This isn't going to double their market cap, obviously. Obviously, but it basically. takes any amount that it, I mean, it takes 150 out of this. So, oh. All right, so I had done a video and I said that the price target I had for them was like 629. They went above and exceeded that. They, they did well. Uh, well, the, the stock did well. Um, that was before I found this. This is concerning because $150 million is a lot. Now, let's go look. They have done this. I don't know if they have to file this like every month or what is happening. <clears throat> because it's basically, it's stayed 150 million ever since September. So it could happen that the stock reaches a certain amount and then they're like, okay, let's make this official 150 million. Um, and that can happen at, at any, well, it could happen at any moment. Um, it could happen at any moment in pre-market or after hours. I usually companies won't announce an offering before uh, uh, usually companies won't offer or won't do an offer announce an offering or other official news during business hours so before 4 p.m. and after 9 30 a.m. so if it's going to happen during or on a day it's going to probably happen pre-market so you could probably you could probably you could probably trade the company trade stocks in the company up until 4 p.m and then an announcement could happen for that possibility of uh 150 million offering but that's not official but if they're filing this it's almost like they're preparing for it and they've been preparing for it for three months so it could happen really at any time um looking at the chart for them let me go back here again okay so if we look at this chart what day was this on December 14th, 2.49. Uh, December 17th, 2.47. And then gradually, like every day, it's kind of working its way up <clears throat> to 6.59 now. I think, like looking at the chart, I would think that it might fall off of this and fill the gap. If, if, on a day that they don't do an offering. 
if it fills gap naturally, it will probably come back down to like 510-ish. So it'll dip off maybe a little bit over 5 and then head back up again. That's without an offering. If they announce an offering tomorrow morning, then I would expect this to obviously fall to like half of this because, yeah, it would, yeah, I think it would be enough to, I don't know. But so, and it doesn't like, it's an offering from time to time. We can look, let's look at it. Is this the most recent? No. Where is five? Is that five? Amendment number three, amendment number two, um, amendment number five. Okay. Amendment number five is the latest one. <sighs> okay. From time to time after the effective date of this registration statement. If only securities being registered on this form are being offered pursuant to dividend or interest reinvestment plans, please check the following box. No, they didn't check that. If any securities being registered on this form are being offered or delayed or continuous basis pursuant to Rule 415 under Securities Act of 1933, check this box. They checked that box. Okay. Um... Emerging Growth Company, they check that box. Okay. Let's see. From time to time, be sold at intermediate prices. So I, it's basically at the market, I think. But it registered, like $150 million registers like double their, more than double their shares at that time. Uh, definitely, okay, so definitely more than double shares at that time. Let's go, um, let's look at Weeble. Um, you see, oh, okay, more. So, free float at this time is 106 million. Wait, that's free float, Mark. Free float is 16.6, 16.16 million shares outstanding is 28.74. So, they'd go from 28 million shares to eh, probably 50 million. At current, like market cap 189, I would say they'd go to about 50 million shares once if they sell them like all very quickly. Now then, this isn't official yet, and there's no telling if they actually even will like do a offering. But there's a possibility for an offering. So it's something to be aware of. Um... And to be very cautious about it. If they're going to do an offering, it'll be, like I said, almost certain. It could happen during market hours, but usually that's not how offerings work. Usually offerings are pre-market or after hours. So if you're going to get in, you could probably trade okay during the trading day, um, but be cautious of holding overnight. I... I'm not a financial advisor, and I know that this isn't set in stone yet, so don't take it as like set in stone. They just filed this amendment, and it's not done yet, so they could actually go forward with it and say, okay, let's do it now. It just kind of is like a, it's a flag, <laughs> um, so just be cautious. Uh, again, I'm not your financial advisor. I can't push buy for you. I can't push sell for you. You have to make those decisions on your own. Um, just be, just be cautious, be cautious. Uh, anything can really happen. Like I said, I don't think it'll happen during the like trading day, but anything is possible. They can do one during the trading day. I'm almost sure, but they have to notify SEC within before 15 minutes of doing it or 10 or 15 minutes before doing it. Um, but then SEC halts 
I just don't see them doing it during market trading hours. They could, but I don't see it happening. I think it'll happen after 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time or prior to, probably prior to 7 a.m. Eastern Standard Time, but still possible between 7 and 9. Less likely between 7 and 9.30 a.m. Very likely before 7 a.m. Very likely after 4 p.m., but between 7 and 9.30 is kind of like a it's not a closed off but there's it's more regulated to make an announcement or do an offering so probably prior to 7 a.m if they're going to announce it then some probability 7 a.m to 9 30 then very unlikely 9 30 to 4 and then high probability 4 p.m to 8 p.m possibly uh, if they're going to do it so um yeah i just wanted to share that because I, I found that and I had been talking about you cloud link um, earlier and I wanted to make sure that got out there. Um, that's all I have. If you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe. Um, I try to do videos every day about stocks and the stock market and Bitcoin and everything else. Um, yeah, I hope you have a wonderful, profitable green day and I will see you all very soon. Bye. Mwah.